What is up my butter biscuits? I do apologize within this video if my voice sounds a little bit raspy or a little bit nasally. Something is in the air right now in Southern California that is just giving me really bad allergies. Um, and don't worry y'all, I did get tested two times for Miss Rona to make sure that it's not her. Cause just in case you guys didn't know, I had it back in June, but I had like no symptoms or anything. Come to find out it's my allergies. Y'all, my throat right now is like, ugh, it's like real scratchy, you know what I'm saying? I did take allergy pills, but being inside this garage, y'all, and I told you guys before, there's literally a lawnmower sitting right there. This is really not the best thing for me right now, especially with all these floating particles. I literally see them because it's windy today. I'm just like, oh. So anyways, y'all, I do apologize if my voice is a little bit raspy and I am a little bit nasally. It is because of my allergy, so I do apologize. Um, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, this is actually going to be, I think, my final video about Morphe and Jeffree Star Cosmetics because they have officially taken all of Jeffree Star products off of their website, which has been a long time coming because they did actually start this back in July of 2020, where they said they were going to be cutting ties with Jeffree Star. And they actually finally did take all of his products off of their website. And I think that they low key threw a little bit of shade. You guys can tell me if I'm reaching on this one, because I will show you guys the receipts within this video. But like, if you search for Jeffree Star within Morphe, I'll show you guys within this video, a little shade pops up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm reaching. You guys can let me know, but we'll go ahead and get into that within today's video. Also, y'all, I understand a lot of people want me to talk about the James Charles situation going on right now. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I know those of you that are not new know I always say this every single time. When it comes to criminal allegations and things like this, this is just stuff that I don't talk about um, and I won't talk about them. I feel like it's just way too deep and too dark for me. Um, Y'all know, like, look, I'm not trying to get into any type of, like, lawsuit or anything like that. First of all, I can't afford it. Second of all, this comes with, like, serious allegations. That's just too, like, deep for me, you know? Things that I talk about on my channel are kind of just, like, brands being shady or, like, new products product launches, uh, influencers being shady, things like that. When it comes to these serious allegations, like with James Charles, it's something that I just don't talk about. Um, all I'm going to say on it, my little two cents is, I said this actually a few months ago when he was going through the same situation before, is there's no smoke without a fire. I kind of felt like when the whole first thing had came out, I was like, no, this is not true about James Charles. Like everything just was really looking bad on his behalf. However, I was just like, no, nah. like the way everybody was painting him out to be, I just didn't see it. And then now I'm kind of like, okay, this is repeatedly happening constantly with James and I'm like when are you going to learn your lesson and just stop you know what I mean so now I just really feel like at this point there is no smoke without a fire and these things are happening for a reason um, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say on it I'm not gonna make a full video about it talk about it deeply because like I said there are serious allegations that are going on and I do understand a lot of other channels out there are comfortable talking about it but I feel like they are kind of like smart and I'm dumb you know like I don't be knowing the law I don't know what I can talk about so I really don't want to talk about these deep things because I just feel like they're too deep. You know, I like to keep it lighthearted, talk about some shadiness, talk about some makeup launches or, you know, you know, brands making mistakes, basically like things like that. I don't like talking about this like dark stuff. And on top of that too, I'm just not comfortable talking about it. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, just to give you guys a little bit of an answer on that, because I know a lot of people are like, where's your James Charles video? And I'm like, oh, I, I don't talk about dark stuff like that. So anyways, today's video, we're talking about Morphe and Jeffree Star. So if you guys are interested in that, of course, go ahead and keep on watching. If y'all are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notification so that way you'll get notified when I upload a new video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all, just to give you guys a little bit of a recap in case you guys don't remember or haven't heard about it. This actually all happened with Morphe and Jeffree Star Cosmetics back in June when Tati Westbrook made her video titled Breaking My Silence. Um, up until this point, a lot of people were wondering how come Morphe is still keeping Jeffree Star Cosmetics or even Jeffree Star uh, collaborations on their website. Why are they still affiliating themselves with Jeffree Star? Because he has just been in so many scandals. And during this time, when Tati Westbrook made, made her Breaking My Silence video, this is where everything got put into light even more that Jeffree Star just really looks shady. Um, after Tati Westbrook made her video, it kind of seemed like Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson were in her ear and kind of like being the puppet master to her canceling James Charles and making the Bi Sisters video. Um, so when she came out with that video, it really did look like Jeffree Star was, you know, just trying to cancel James Charles, obviously, for his own gains, which I still do believe. Even though, low key, y'all, I'm kind of wondering. Wondering, like what is James Charles I mean what is Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson thinking about James Charles right now I'm really curious about that because I'm like hmm like obviously they did say some things about James that are now turning out to be kind of true you know however I don't feel like James I mean oh my god I'm getting everyone's names twisted I don't feel like Jeffree and Shane are like 
good people. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if they really did care, they would have took it to the authorities and did something about it rather than just spreading rumors and putting it into people's head. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, nonetheless, this is when Morphe was like, okay, we're going to have to cut ties with Jeffree Star because it's just repeatedly scandal after scandal after scandal. And people actually started canceling their um, coupon codes with Morphe. So I believe Jackie Ina was the first one, then Alyssa Ashley, then Nicole Concilio. I think Gabriel Zamora as well too. Just so many people got on board and said, you know what? I'm canceling my code because I don't understand why you continuously affiliate yourselves with Jeffree Star being that he is not a good person. So during this time, they actually put forward this tweet and I do apologize. I read this probably like three times now, but just to read it again as a recap, this was made on July 10th of 2020. Today, we've made the decision to cease all commercial activity related to Jeffree Star and affiliated products. We expect this to conclude within the coming weeks, really turned out to be months. As we look to the future, we will continue to share updates on what lies ahead for the Morphe brand, which actually they never did share an update about it. They literally have taken months now. Um, it's now March, so literally almost one year, coming up on a year, um, that they have still been selling Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And honestly... So many people were sending me like DMs about this and they were like, Morphe's still selling Jeffree Star. But honestly, I think what it is, is they just really had so much inventory in their warehouse. Obviously, they're not going to take a product loss. I've said this so many times now. If you're a brand, say for example, like Morphe and you purchase 500,000 units from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, you're not just going to go throw away that product. You know what I mean? Because in return, that would be throwing away money. So they obviously discounted the products and then they put them for sale and try to get them to sell to make any type of money back or else it would be a huge company loss. So that's why I think for months on end, they were still selling Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So right after that, um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics actually made this public on their Instagram and put, Hey, Star Family, we are shocked and extremely saddened by the decision of our former retail partner, Morphe Brushes, on parting ways with our brand and Jeffree. Over the past five years, we've accomplished amazing things together and released iconic products. We are proud of everything we've accomplished with them. What's next? Question mark. We have our excited, or wait, we have our, well, I twisted that. We have an incredible rebater of 2020 planned and are excited to share our new products with you and our partners around the world. We know our customers will continue to create, inspire, and push the boundaries of our art. Love you all so much, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So this was actually like a really big shocker because if you guys did not know, because of Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, Morphe actually had their highest selling um, day in stores when they were coming out with the Conspiracy Collection because there was literally millions of people going into Morphe to purchase the Conspiracy Palette and obviously purchase some Morphe products while they were there. So I'm sure that's why they really tried their hardest to hold on to Jeffree Star, being that they made Morphe so much more money. So anyways, y'all, I want to go ahead and show you guys this right now. This is where the shade comes in. I'm going to go ahead and play this little screen record right here. If you go into the Morphe website and type into Jeffree Star, um, you'll see that now all of the products are gone, which like I said, took a whole long time. But if you go ahead and take a look at this right here, it literally says, did you mean mess free starting? And there is literally no products affiliated to mess free starting. So if you type in Jeffree Star, why would it switch it to mess free starting? Like, I don't know, y'all, maybe I am reaching and I could totally totally 100% be reaching on this one, but I kind of feel like it's almost like they're mess free starting. You know what I'm saying? Like they're getting rid of Jeffree Star. So they're mess free starting. I don't know. Like I said, maybe I am just reaching on this one. I could totally be, but I do find it a little bit ironic. You know what I'm saying? Like, how could it just be coincidental that you're going to go type in Jeffree Star and mess free starting pops up? Like, I don't know. I kind of take it as a little bit of shade. I don't really know who knows what's going on with Morphe and Jeffree Star behind the scenes, because obviously if you guys did not know, Jeffree Star did say he is an investor within Morphe. So nobody really knows about their behind the scenes relationship. All I know though, about Jeffree Star, he has bashed a whole lot of brands. He has said a lot of bad things about a lot of brands. But when it comes to Morphe, he's never said anything bad about them, literally ever. So I'm kind of like, okay, obviously that lets us know he does have some type of investment within the company. He doesn't want to make them look bad in any type of way. Um, I th still think that he does have investments within the brand, obviously, because he's still not saying anything bad about the brand. And y'all know Jeffree, okay? Like, look what happened with Kat Von D. He shaded the brand so many times. With Too Faced, he shaded the brand so many times. Actually, just today while I'm filming this, if you go on over to the Trend Mood page, a brand is coming out with a like collection right here. I don't know exactly what this is, like a unicorn palette maybe? Oh yeah, unicorn um, palette and a like T-Rex palette and all this good stuff. And Jeffree Star just put all these laughing emojis on it, basically making fun of the brand. He has no problem shading a brand, but he's never done that to Morphe. So 
you kind of have to put two and two together there and say, okay, clearly he does have a little bit of like ties with Morphe still in some type of capacity. We just don't know exactly what they are. I guess because they are private. I don't know. Somebody tried explaining this to me before and I just still didn't get it because I thought that it would be public information as soon as Morphe got like 50% of them bought out, but it wasn't. Another thing, before we close out this video, I wanted to talk about, do you guys think that Jeffree Star is low-key trying to distance himself from Shane Dawson? Because if you actually go to Jeffree Star Cosmetics, all of the conspiracy stuff is discounted big time. Like the palette, which was, I believe, once $54 is now $31 on there. And then scrolling through all the products here, the lip balm is $10, which it was originally $18. The makeup bag was $30. Um, now it's $18. Like the uh, pig lipstick set was $90 and now it's $54. Like all of the conspiracy products are heavily discounted. So I'm kind of like, wait, I wonder if he's distancing himself from um, Shane Dawson. I wonder if he's kind of like cutting ties with him. I don't really know. Y'all can let me know about that. Uh, anyways, y'all, another thing I wanted to get your guys' thoughts and opinions out, out about is I actually just created a video, my thoughts and opinions, on Jeffree Star's new relaunch of the Blood Sugar Palette. I noticed that none of the products besides the mirror, the, the um, one that has a little bit of an ombre effect on it, sold out. None of them sold out. Like, nothing. Not the mini, not the limited edition um, large palette. Nothing sold out. So I'm kind of wondering, like, at this point, do you think that Jeffree Star's brand is being affected by the drama because I feel like still no matter what throughout all the scandals his products still always sold out nothing sold out you guys can literally go on there right now I'm filming this video March 2nd and there is um no products that are sold out besides the mirror but um anyways I just want to get your guys thoughts and opinions on that and let me know what you guys think about everything and I'll catch you guys in my next video peace out Girl Scout